Hello Satanists, sinners, the curious and the atheist. Welcome to the Book of Job. Now in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the Occult Tarot. Now those that you know me from my other channel would actually have this on my other channel. But I had a discussion with myself and came to the conclusion that maybe I should do it on this one. Isn't that right Blue? Sod off. Ah, he's just annoyed that he wanted to review this himself. So, today we'll be taking a look at the Occult Tarot. Now, there's a lot of stuff from this that's taken basically from the Lesser Key of Solomon. And this would be perfect for this channel, I thought. So, sit back, relax, and we'll roll on that intro. So moving on, uh, the box itself, it's uh, really cool, black with a uh, nice, uh, lot of nice red, cool uh, death's head moth in the middle there. Now um, the box as you can see is that, um, it's actually quite large, so the box itself is 5 inches by 7.5 inches, though the cars themselves are a, lot, are a little smaller. So you have your little descriptions at the back here. Uh, I'll let you pause that to read in your leisure. So there are your cars at the bottom there. <clears throat> okay, so so in removing the box, just a nice little red interior. So you've got the book itself. Now the book does cover um, a surprising surprising amount actually. We're not going to go through the book completely, but uh, so in the book itself, it basically covers. The names of all of the Goetic Demons, and it also covers um, how you pronounce them as well. So there's a nice little pronunciation pronunciation guide in there. Um, it also has like the rules of summoning each of the Goetic Demons. Um, it also has like a little calendar. It also shows like a little calendar of how to actually um, when is time when there is the time to summon the demons. It shows you how it also has like the Celtic cross, which is a the traditional um, tarot spread that most people like to use. Uh, and then it also has a nice little breakdown of what each section um, of the card actually means. And then it talks about the first six cards, which are the six rulers. So I just pulled that out. The other thing you'll notice is that the cards themselves have a really nice a kind of glossy sheen to them, red, obviously. So let's take a little, take this bit off. Now I'm not going to waffle for all of the cards, but the first six. Um, are, so basically, you still have the traditional artwork that you'd see in the um, Lesser Key of Solomon. Let's have a quick zoom in there. There you go. Right. So, uh, so obviously you've got which card, um, what tarot card this is referencing. So this one is the Magician. And obviously you've got Baphomet, and uh, it's also a little descriptor of what the what it actually means when you get this particular demon. So have a look. <clears throat> the card stock is quite nice as well. It's quite thick, but not overly so. So these are thin enough to shuffle, but thick enough to not feel like paper. So you can see the artwork itself is just what you would see in the. And also on the back of the cards, you have this cool kind of artwork as well. Now we're just going to have a quick flick through the rest of the deck.
<coughs> and there we have the occult tarot. Uh, full flip through and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you are new to tarot, I best definitely say this would be something interesting to have, but not necessarily something you might want to start off with. But if you, well, if you enjoy the Goetta, then uh, I'd definitely say go for it. If you like the classic artwork and uh, want a bit of extra information about the demons themselves, it's pretty good. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, remember to live deliciously.